Five yeah, mil. you could, but five mil. You you didn't make that way. How many WNBA seasons you got to play to get to five mil? This is true. <laughs> so you could recover if you injure yourself. Because I, I saw a <laughs> four year contract. A four year contract for a WNBA player was like the total, uh, three hundred and something thousand dollars. That's it. That's just Damn. the base pay. I know. Yeah. How do we get to change? But that? they but they do load you guys up with endorsements. Yeah, it's gonna get bigger though. Like yeah. it's gonna get yeah. bigger. Um, more people gonna be watching More people gonna be buying jerseys We're gonna get more TV space It's gonna get bigger It's just like You gotta give it time okay. But it's, it's just crazy Like You could do one deal like that In college For that Like you know what I'm saying Like Ooh. For like NIL Like you could do one deal And boom So this is gonna be a quick video For you guys That was Flo J Johnson LSU star If I pronounced her first name wrong I apologize She made a lot of sense In this podcast I think it was Ball Alert I didn't know they had a podcast But this right here is what I'm talking about that could be the change of the WNBA when you're thinking logically like that. You even heard the young lady in the background saying how do we change that when they was talking about the WNBA and the contracts that they get. They're not getting paid as much. And she said the right stuff like it's going to take time. Like she's making a lot of money in the NIL. You heard what she said. Now, we've been saying this for um, the entire season. You know, Caitlin Clark, Angel Reese and the rest of the game have made a lot of money off NIL deals. That is a game changer for a lot of young ladies. And now when they go into the to the WNBA, I think this is how they can thrive with their popularity. But they got to stay likable. You know, you can't fall into that trend with current WNBA players are pushing right now, like the Angel, Asia Wilsons and the Kelsey Plums. You know, a lot of people don't like me talking like that, but it's true. When you go watch those videos, that type of verbiage that comes out of their mouths, Ain't nobody trying to hit that, man. Ain't nobody finna come to no games when you acting like that. You're not giving like a young lady like Paige um, Bukers her props because you're mentioning she's privileged. That ain't helping nothing. That's not going to put people in the seats. Nobody's going to want to watch that because that's a, like a backhanded compliment. So I agree with Miss Johnson, what she had to say. I'm glad she said it. Going to need more players talking like that. It's going to take time. But everybody's going to have to know the assignment. And that's to draw more attention to this league. A couple of young ladies understand that. She seems to be one of those ones. I hope she does not fall into that trap like the other current WBA players have. But post comments. Let me know what you guys thoughts on her comments about this. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel.